Hey there, Crafty Jennabug here. Today I'm going to make a little dishcloth for scrubbing dishes. I use these in my kitchen to, you know, wash my dishes. Uh, I use a cotton yarn. This is actually a little bit left over. It's a recycled cotton yarn, which I thought was cool. And then this Scrubby Sparkle by Red Heart, uh, which is kind of thin. Let's see if it'll zoom in. There we go. It looks kind of like eyelashes. But when you, you work this up, it give, it makes a really good scrubber. There is another kind of scrubby yarn that is not the Scrubby Sparkle. And it is it looks like this. Um, now, I prefer this in tandem with cotton yarn when I'm making body washing cloths. Um, it, it's not as abrasive as the eyelashes. <laughs> it's not as abrasive as the Scrubby Sparkle. The regular Scrubby yarn is good for making um, something you're going to rub on your body. Um, I mean, I've used the... I've used body cloths with Scrubby Sparkle. It's very exfoliating. Um, but not quite what I'm going for every day, you know, every time I wash. To make these, you crochet two strands together. I start with a magic loop. Or magic circle, they're called a couple of different things. So that I can tighten the tension of the center part. I'm going to chain two, so I have three chains on there. Um, that will count as a double crochet. And then I'm going to put eight double crochets into the loop. You could do this with single crochets or half double crochets if you wanted. Did I get... No, I did not pick up the... Um, you could do this with single crochets or double crochets if you wanted. Um, so since one, I've got three double crochets now, since that is a double crochet stitch, so I needed seven additional. Give me my yarn. Four. I am also crocheting over this um, loose end because it will allow me to tighten the circle if you don't know how to do a magic circle, um, there's plenty of resources out there about them. Some don't like them because they have had issues with them coming undone. I've never had issues with them coming undone. I weave that end super tight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I grab both of those strands. Pull this super tight so that I can close that circle. First chain, which I made way too tight. All right, come on, you. And then this side. And then slip stitch. And we've got our first round. Now here, you could work this up into and keep moving this loose strand around. Um, I do that frequently. Actually, I might. Let me just see if I can pull it up here. Oh, no. Alright. I'm just going to weave that in later. So now for round two, we're going to put two double crochet stitches in each stitch. 
stitch around. So we had eight uh, double crochets in round one. We'll have 16 double crochets by the time round two is over. I'm going to start by chaining three. One, two, three. That counts as a double crochet. And then into the same first... Did I get it right? No, because it's closed up. Since it is a chain, it's a little different. There we go. There's two. <laughs> I'm crocheting very tight, like I do. If you were crocheting looser, this might be a little easier. But I tend to crochet on the tight side. Join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch, and there we go. So round three, chain three for the first double crochet, and then we're going to do two, we're going to repeat two double crochets in a stitch, and then one in the next one. Two, one, two, one. So for this, Put in our one, and then this is number two, and then one. And there's the third row. Now I have in the past stopped here, but it's kind of small. So I'm going to do a fourth, maybe a fifth row. I don't, when I'm making a scrubby for myself for dishes, I don't necessarily feel like they have to be super large. Um, but hey, to each their own. You could essentially keep this going in, until you had the size that you desire which is what I'm going to do. Three. So last round we did two, one repeating. This time we're going to do two, one, one, two, one, one. We're keeping that circular shape. We're expanding it a bit. But if we kept going at two, it would end up into a two, which this is kind of bowl, you know, kind of creating a bowl shape. I probably pulled my center too tight, um, but I'm not worried about it. It's going to scrub dishes. I've been using the same one for a few years now, um, and I wash it. I throw it in the washer whenever needed, just like you would any other reusable washing cloth. There it is. I just gotta fasten it off. 
And it'll be ready for some dish strokes, scrubbing. Some dish scrubbing. Cut off a few inches. And then I'm going to fasten it off. Come on. Use my handy dandy yarn needle. I'm going to take this down into there, down into the stitch, and I'm going to weave it down along this bottom of the chain twos, and I'm going to loop it work it back through there a little bit and then again a third time just to make sure that cut thread doesn't go anywhere So due to my tension being so tight at the beginning, it's a little bowl shaped, but you know, that means it'll form to your hand better when you're scrubbing, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I did kind of flub it a little bit there. I am, um, tension is always something I've been too tight on, but it, it's still going to form, it's still going to function just fine. Um, that's what we're looking for and that's what we got so very simple easy to work up this took me literally I mean like 15 minutes to work up uh, and I have something that is reusable I can wash it in the washer just like I wash any other um, cloths for washing that I use around the house it's abrasive I have used the bees I've got one in my kitchen that I've used for a couple of years um, that it scrubs really well. It's quite abrasive. I do use a, um, a brush for some of the really tough stuff, but this does the job just fine. I have used that regular scrubby yarn for these before, but it just didn't scrub the really cooked on stuff like this does. <coughs> uh, and then when I'm ready to wash it, I just toss it in the washing machine along, you know, whenever I do the towels. It's lasted for quite a while. I just wanted another one to have in rotation. And I might make a third so that I can trade them out as desired. Um, the scrubby yarn, or the, the scrubby sparkle yarn, is a little irritating. You have to wrap it around your hands. There are various different methods. Of wrapping it around your fingers to um, keep tension where you want it to be. It is a little scratchy around your fingers, but otherwise it's fine. Uh, I could see where somebody with sensitive skin would have an issue. I highly recommend combining the scrubby sparkle with the cotton. Just like, uh, do they have it on here? Yeah, on the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, on the image there. It looks like they have just used the scrubby sparkle to make these. I have some scrubbers that are just scrubby sparkle that I did not make. But when you're working with something like this, in, um, like this with the eyelash kind of um, style yarn, fun for even the regular scrubby, it gets really hard to discern where your um, stitches are. So that's why I like to mix it with the cotton. Plus the cotton... Um, is really good in these situations when you're um, when you're making some kind of cloth. It, it works better with um, to me. That's a personal opinion. Um, 
makes it a lot easier to work with the scrubby yarn though. I would not recommend making these um, scrubbers with acrylic. Just isn't the same. Cotton is the way to go for sure. Especially if you're making scrubbies for skin. I mean, like, it, it's not too scratchy. It would definitely exfoliate. We have, um, we have a couple body scrubbers. Or no, I'm sorry. I've got a dish scrubber and a body scrubber with the scrubby sparkle yarn. And it's definitely exfoliating. It definitely gets the job done. But it leaves you feeling kind of itchy. Not like allergic reaction itchy, but like you scraped off a layer. <laughs> so if you want some heavy exfoliating, yeah, go ahead and use this for a face cloth or body cloth. Um, but I, I would stick with it just for dishes. All right. Well, that concludes this video. As always, I hope you enjoyed watching me make this little guy. I hope you uh, learned something and can use this if you're if you're a crocheter yourself, you can um, whip up some dishcloths for yourself. You could do them in a square pattern if you wanted. I prefer circular because it just fits well in my hand. Um, but you could just use a simple square pattern to make some square scrubbies. Maybe I'll do those in another video. As always, I thank you ever so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.